Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber from One Rental at a Time, back with my good friend, Mr. Greg Dickerson. How are you doing, sir? Doing great, Michael. Good to see you. Nice to see you as well. I, I'm going to talk, we're going to talk about something. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but it's kind of a mindset that I was raised with. And, you know, that is kind of, you know, what I call work the 40-40 life. Work 40 hours for 40 years, really to live on 40%. It's funny how that was never talked about, but that's really what the 40-40-40 life is. And ultimately, your hope is to save, put away some money in the 401k, cross your fingers, and 40 years from now, you can be done. And I call that getting rich slowly. Uh, what I've come to realize with real estate investing is um, you don't have to do it slowly. And you are an entrepreneur and you don't, I mean, there's lots of things to do. So I wanted to talk about the whole mindset of getting rich slowly and the fact that I guess it works, but you don't have to do it that way. Yeah, forget that, man. Nobody has time to get rich slow. What are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> Fair so enough. you know the world. The world has changed. I mean, we're in a whole different world than when you and I grew up, and then when our parents grew up. Where you go to school, you get good grades, you get a job, you work for 30, 40 years, retire, and you have a pension. Yeah, the gold you pay watch, your house off. You might have a four hundred one k. That worked great for our parents. Yeah, but a lot of those things just aren't there anymore. Other than the real estate play, you can buy a house and pay it off over a number of years, or have investment properties, rental properties, and play the long game there. But there are so many ways in this day and age to make a lot of money fast. I mean, look at look at the stock markets, people with the meme stock thing and mm -hmm. just, just the way the markets have been off to the races in general, you know, over the last number of years, real estate, um, you can do really well with real estate and make a lot of money fast. Um, and, you know, the old adage of easy money, easy come, easy go, that's very different than making money quickly. Mm. And you can scale businesses quickly today because of the you know, online world we're in. You have cryptocurrencies, you have uh, online entrepreneurship, you have you know, enormous demand in every sector right now for uh, services. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of opportunity there. So there's a lot of ways to make a lot of money and create a lot of wealth quickly. And there's nothing wrong with that. The key is hanging on to it. The problem is mm. when a lot of people create a lot of wealth fast, it comes too easy and they'll spend it too quickly. Mm -hmm. So the key is, is to, you can, you can get as rich as you want, as fast as you want, as long as you're smart with it and you plan and protect the, you know, um, long-term and just like a business, you can grow as fast as you want. Like you just always, you know, hear, oh, don't grow too fast. Mm -hmm. You can grow extremely fast if you grow the right way. And if you grow smart, yeah. grow fast, grow smart, build wealth the smart way and protect it as you go along. The problem is when a lot of people grow fast, build wealth fast, they squander it and, and you know, don't appreciate what they've done because if it comes easy, come easy, go. Right. Um, so, you know, that's the caveat to all that. So yeah, you can grow as fast as you want. You can build wealth as fast as you want. Yeah. So there's a lot of things I want to talk about here. First, um, first, one of the things that, again, realizing a lot of people watching my channel, at least a lot of them are full-time employees, right? That, that's kind of my demographic, I believe, right? That's my story anyway. So I do think that a lot of people uh, should value what I'll call an emergency fund, right? I think that's been something that's very important, uh, you know, whether it's six months or nine months, whatever you think that is. I think, I think that's a step one. And I think, frankly, too many people live paycheck to paycheck and haven't, don't even have that box checked. And if you don't have an emergency fund yet, I mean, what are you doing? Uh, what, what do you think? I'd say one year minimum. Oh, uh, one year. Okay. It, yeah, it goes fast. I mean, six months goes by quick. I mean, look at look at the pandemic and, right. and how long that whole situation lasted. I mean, a year went by like nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of people had no savings at all. So I think in this day and age, again, everything moves so fast. You need you need to have at least a year of savings built up. And the, the you know, there's a lot of ways to make a lot of money. You can do anything, right? Mm -hmm. You can do any number of things. To, to make money. The key is you have to have some skills and you have to have some knowledge. You have to educate yourself. You've created books, courses, programs. Mm -hmm. I have courses and programs. There's tons of stuff on YouTube. The key is, is to develop yourself, build skill sets that are valuable in the marketplace. Look for problems that you can solve. Where are the gaps that you can fill so that you have the ability to create income on demand anywhere, even if you're working a full-time job, you know, and mm -hmm. it's, it boils down to a choice. A lot of people We'll go to work, go home at the end of the day, and then it's just recreation time. Yeah. And they don't do anything to further themselves financially, um, you know, vocationally or anything like that. You should always be learning, always be developing yourself, always be building your skills. And in today's world, it's so easy to earn 
uh, extra income on the side if you're working a full-time job. And I know there's a lot of people that work, you know, 40, 50, 60 hours a week. And they mm -hmm. say, well, with kids and this and that, I have no time. There's always a little bit of time in there, depending on what, you know, what it is you're doing and ways to do things that don't require a lot of, a lot of time to earn extra money. Yeah. And that's where I wanted to go next. Um, something that is very obvious to me is in today's day and age, there are so many ways that you can create legitimate side hustles. Uh, you know, back when, when, you know, I was 20 something, my options were pretty limited, right? The option was to get a second job, which is what I did, right? I worked during the week and then I had a weekend job, right? I, I worked in retail while I was going to college and school and I actually stayed, I, I kept getting weekend shifts and I worked seven days a week for, for, I don't know, three, four years, easy. That was my option back then. Today, right? It would be creating some kind of side hustle, whether it's again, a YouTube channel course, there are people do trading baseball cards and this, that, the other thing, uh, you know, find the thing that you love that you, you would, that you're frankly probably already doing and try to find a way to turn that into, uh, try to monetize that. And it, the ways today are, I mean, the options today are amazing. Yeah, it is. It is. It's it's an interesting world, whole different world. I mean, even real estate, you can do real estate part time on the side. You don't yep. need any money. When I say do real estate, I mean, you can invest, you can learn how to do creative financing deals and buy houses on terms. You can get you know lease options, rent to owns and arbitrage those plays. Mm -hmm. You can do Airbnb arbitrage where you don't yep. even have to. Well, they call it arbitrage. It's not really arbitrage, but you can you know rent or lease a property commercial, residential, whatever. It's called a master lease yep. from an owner and then turn out and lease it out, you know, for more money. Uh, there's just so many different ways you can make money in real estate without having to have any money. You got to have the expertise and the skill set. You got to know what you're doing and be in a market where there's demand. And then online, again, I keep going back to that, but there's just so many things you can do. Graphic design, video editing, um, podcast editing, uh, you know, copywriting. Uh, there's just all social media management, social mm -hmm. media marketing, um, media buying, which is running ads for, for people doing social media ads, things like that. Google ads. I mean, there's just uh, tons of ways that you can pick up an extra three, five, 10,000 a month doing those things. And I mean, extra three, five, 10,000 a month doing those things on the side. Yeah. That's something I hope people realize here, right? When you, when we talk about getting rich slow, that's the old adage, 40, 40, right? Work 40 hours for 40 years, save, scrimp, sacrifice all along the way. Now, I really believe it's get an emergency fund, get a year, right? Because that's, you know, stuff happens. We will have another recession, Greg. I don't know about you, but there will likely be three, four, five, six more recessions in my lifetime. And we've got to be ready for them. Uh, but yeah, I, I think people need to be creative and think about how they can monetize their, what excites them, right? It's, it's, um, it's out there for you. If you get creative and think about it, there's a lot of ways to monetize your hobbies. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Whatever it is that you're passionate about and whatever you do for work that you get paid for, you, a lot of times you can parlay that into a private consulting business or yep. practice or things like that. If you're a top salesperson in your organization, create a program to teach people how to how to be good at sales. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's a lot of different things. you do. I mean, That's what Grant Cardone did, right? He was yeah. a great car salesman and he created his whole business around teaching other people how to sell cars. Then he branched into other industries and well said. Uh, then he built his social media presence, started raising money for real estate and he invested what he made in his businesses back <laughs> in real estate, which is what I've done my whole career. Um, starting a bunch of different businesses that mm -hmm. I didn't have to work in day to day. I had people that were in those businesses running them. And then I used the profits to invest in, in real estate and development and things like that. So, but the key is it all goes back to, you know, what you do here. And, and, you know, I started with absolutely nothing from nothing. And, you know, I did a lot in a very short period of time because I educated myself. I learned from other people. I hired people that were smarter and better than me. I found successful real estate developers and investors. And I went, I, and I went to work for them doing projects for them. I was a general contractor. So I didn't care about making money or whatever. I just wanted to learn. So I would do work for them uh, at cost just so I could be a part of the deal and learn. So it's all about creating value, finding opportunities, um, you know, filling those gaps out there where the demand is. Wherever there's a problem, there's an opportunity. And, you know, that's what you want to do. Solve problems. What do people need? What do they not have time for? What do they not want to do? That's where you make your money is doing the things that other people don't want to. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. What, what I want to do with this video, folks, is I really want to challenge yourself to think about what you what excites you. You might call it a hobby. Um, 
but what is it, right? Is it, jam, is it jam making? Is it sports cars? Is it fixing old classic cars? What is it? Think about it. Think about what you could do. Think what yeah, you yeah. can monetize. You can flip cars. You can yeah. flip, you know, antiques. You can flip baseball cards. And, you yeah. know, Gary Vaynerchuk, he goes to yard sales and buy yeah. stuff and flip stuff and all kinds of different things you can do. Yeah, this is a lot of fun, folks. You don't have to do the 40-40 life. Uh, this new environment, new technology really allows you to monetize stuff from home. And the last thing, Greg, as a real estate ent- or as an entrepreneur, excuse me, you know that once you create a business, you can write off a bunch of stuff like your home internet, your phone, your other things that normally normally comes out of after tax. You can put it, you can transition those to before taxes or yeah, before taxes, right? Yeah, there's a lot of things you can expense into your business that you're paying from your your that you're paying taxes on and then buying. So yeah, your cell phone, your internet, you know, utilities, all kinds of different things. But um, and the other thing to think about too is for anybody watching, what I would challenge you to do is to go look at two things. Go look at compound interest. Start with a thousand bucks, five thousand bucks. Anybody can go make a, an extra thousand or five thousand dollars in about a week. I don't care anybody, almost anywhere, not like around the world necessarily, but, you know, in in a country that you can earn a decent income, you can go make an extra thousand to 5,000 bucks or whatever that translates to wherever you are in the world. And then look at what that becomes if you can make an extra 5% every day or every week on that investment and compound it and keep reinvesting. Watch how quick that turns into a million dollars. It doesn't take very long at all. If you can earn an extra five or 10% on that investment, Yep. either daily, it goes really fast. I mean, I mm-hmm. think it's, I think it's probably about 30 days. It turns into a million bucks or 45 days. Wow. But if you go weekly, you know, within a, within a year or so, I don't know, I can't remember the calculation, but it adds up really quick. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, thank you very much, Greg. How can people find you and be part of your world? GregDickerson.com. That's where uh, my YouTube channel podcast is. Uh, all my content, GregDickerson.com. Thank you again, again, folks, follow Greg Dickerson. He covers lots of entrepreneur stuff that I do not cover. Thanks buddy.